Welcome back, Beards and Dragons fans. I'm Joe, and with me, as always, is the lovely, wonderful Jet. Oh, thank and you. And we are playing some Tomb Raider today. Yes, we are, and I'm lovely, so thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I didn't uh, mean that in a weird way. I'm sorry, it just came out, uh, so please no, don't not, be offended. <laughs> no, not at all. Any bit of affirmation will be gladly accepted. Yes, you are a fantastic, wonderful person and a good friend, so there we're go. happy to be here. Everyone else jealous now, huh? Suck it, nerds. Ugh. So, I finally beat Assassin's Creed Origins. Nice. Oh. Uh, or I did until I realized that the DLC was on sale for like $10. And I was like, uh, eh, might as well get it. And I didn't realize that it added like 30 hours of story stuff. So, I'm not as finished as I thought I was. And that's like one mission. But. Yeah, no, for <laughs> real. It's, it's a big uh. game. But I'm at least taking a little bit of a break from it. I'm gonna try to finish God of War. So The new one? Yeah, well God of War twenty sixteen or whenever it came out. Uh, four twenty eighteen? Uh I think twenty eighteen. Sure. Yes. <laughs> God of War technically four. Yes. Yes. I love that game. That game's awesome. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh I'm not too far into it, but I know the story of it. I've seen people play through it, so I'm not exactly just rushing to get it done. So I can upgrade some guns. Is that the game trying to start an engine? <laughs> yeah, it is. It sounds okay. realistic enough that I was like looking around. I was like, did one of my housemates get stuck outside? What's going on? I was like, is someone starting a car? Muzzle break. Reduce that recoil. Keep me from. It's stinky. I gotta get so much to salvage just <laughs> one thing anymore. Yeah. Huh? Uh, but yeah, how's your week been, man? Oh, not too bad. I took the day off because my wife was supposed to work overnight last night, and that got mm -hmm. canceled, so I gotcha. just already had the day off in, so I was like, ah, I'll just have a day off. Oh, there we go. The weather is supposed to get kind of bad here tonight, I think, so I might end up not having class tomorrow, but we'll see. If I didn't, that'd be awesome because I could get a lot of studying done, but. Yes, that is always good. Sam, I'm here. Flora. <laughs> Hugs all Alex, I'll be sorry you missed out on this. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Alex? Uh, heading over to the Endurance to grab some tools for Reyes. Jonah, give the hoist a try. This has got to be our best chance, right? We've got to try. I'm glad you decided to join us, Lara. What could I do? I'm still not completely Help sure Jonah. that that woman is okay. She was really mean last episode. Reyes? Yeah. Yeah. I think she's had some trauma. Well, this is all I know. If I've learned anything from American politics, it's that if someone says something mean, you shouldn't like them. I should be able to fashion one from some pulleys. Fair. There might be something that rigging we can use. I'll check it out. Be careful, Lara. Reach the galleon. I'm gonna see if I can get this. That would be a good thing to start on. I'll dismantle the setup and get the engine ready for the block. It is interesting, and like, in this situation, like, your ship wrecked on an island, would you prioritize getting the boat started again, or making sure that you're safe? Like, you know, getting the guns working and stuff like that, just in case you needed them. Me, personally? Safety. Yeah. Because the gun working, I mean, you could technically use it for hunting or mm -hmm. protection and that keeping is true. safe would give you more time to properly work on the engine. That is true. 
because if you try to work on the boat too quickly to get away from the bad things, it could not work. So. That is also true. Yay, shotgun parts, because everybody knows there'd be shotgun parts there. Oh, of course. They just kind of grow like potatoes. Amazing. Portuguese. Looks to be early. How would you know that? Century. Well, like, where she's. Are you... I was just going to ask that. I was like, where are you seeing Portuguese, Lara? She's a artifact lady, so she, I guess, would know that. It's the number of times I make jumps like that and just forget to hit the X button <laughs> and just fall down and die. It's like, uh. Who the fuck are they? Sounds like they got guns. I don't know. What do you think? Radio's been dead for hours. But come huh? They got her! Oh, uh, there's a boy yeah. there. It's like, how did I miss him? <laughs> Meanwhile, while, while the bad guys are coming at me. Oh. Nice. So, do you get anything from doing the fatalities like that besides a little bit of XP? Uh, XP. Okay, gotcha. I don't know if it was like Doom and it like refilled your ammo or something. No, it's it gives me saves me ammo because I don't have to sh I, one less yeah, shot, cool. I guess. That's another game I need to play soon. I have it. Is Doom, both of them, the new ones. Yes, I have one of them. I think I have the 2016 Doom. Yeah. But I don't have the newest one. Yeah, I got those, and I got a couple of the Wolfenstein games. Yes, I played a fair bit of the Youngblood. Okay. Um, I like the story in that. Yeah, that's one I actually just bought a couple days ago. Got it on eBay, and it should be here next couple of days. Oh, nice. Black Flag got in today for the PS4, so that will be... Fun. I hope it will be. I I have bad history with that game. I just find it to be one of the least fun Assassin's Creed games. Yep. Ah! Ooh. I knew that when I did it. <laughs> I was like, that's not where I'm supposed to go. I've had so many people get on to me for saying that I don't like Black Flag that much. Who the fuck are they? Sounds like they got guns. What the hell? Like, I'm not saying it's a bad game, it just doesn't feel like an Assassin's Creed game. And I guess I don't care about pirates enough for it to be an extremely fun game otherwise. Yeah, I, I can see the not as Assassin's Creed -y aspect well, of it. It's like you only have three cities that you can really go in, and yeah, you know, one of the big thing about Assassin's Creed is like stalking through the uh, rooftops, doing parkour, and all this stuff. And like the few assassin missions you actually have are like just following this person for a long time. And that's it. But I've also never completely finished it, so I'm gonna give yeah. it a shot, try to go th through it all the way. I mean, it it's it's definitely the least probably Assassin's Creed -y of them. Mm -hmm. It's they kind of took the opening part of three with the Hatham. Yeah. And... There it is. Uh, oh. That was convenient. Oh, I was supposed to shoot the thing. <laughs> See, that'd be a funny time when somebody snuck up behind her and just pow. Yeah, I just shoved her off the side. It's the game over. It's like, can't do anything. <laughs> but yeah, uh, once these, like, I bought uh, Rogue, Black Flag, Syndicate, and the Ezio collection. So once all those comes in, the only game I'll be missing is Syndicate. And... No, not Syndicate. Unity. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I would argue you're not missing anything, but... Well, a lot of people say it's actually really... Play. Yeah, a lot of people say Unity is actually really good. Or, like, it's pretty good now that the bugs have been fixed and everything. 
Yeah, I have never really forgiven them for the bugs. That's fair. They shouldn't have released it when they did. Like that was pathetic. No, like I remember like having those things where it's just you're talking to a person that's like floating eyeballs. In the feet. Yeah. Like I'm sorry, I don't I don't get how a game gets out like that. And then like, I mean they started the trend of doing it too. Yeah, that happened, and then uh, Cyberpunk did it. Only Cyberpunk was even worse. Like that was just. It looked like people were playing Roblox. Yeah, I... I think Cyberpunk's... Part of Cyberpunk's problem was... Overambition on... Their part. I, I can agree with that. CD Projekt Red. Those are the people that did The Witcher, isn't it? Yes. How did they mess up that bad? It's, I think they just tried to do cram too much into a game. Yeah. Like, if they would have made a less ambitious game and just polished it, it would have been mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. And, I mean, they fix a lot of the bugs. It's it's definitely playable now, but... I mean, it's, it's kind of one of those things that the fans shouldn't allow developers to do to get away No, with. I agree, yeah. What's wrong? Alex should have been back by now. Stalker Whitman. The traitor? Jonah, help! He does not know how to hold a gun. It's, have you ever seen the movie Date? I think it's called Date Night with uh, Steve Carell. I have not. There's a scene in there where they've got... How many are there? I don't know. Somebody's pointing a gun at him. The guy Who's turns the gun anyone? sideways. And he's like, "Oh no! It's a kill off. shot." Barely broken a sweat. Must be fitter than I thought. You could have led them straight to us, like you did back at the palace. What? That's not how it was, Laura. They they, they caught me while you were getting Sam. What the hell is this about? They said it was the only way they'd let you and the others live. I I tried to warn you. He's a traitor. That's yes. Not. We don't have time for this. Look, I don't know what the problem is between the two of you, and to tell you the truth, you should. He betrayed care. you. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one of those Look, scenarios word, where it's like God, you start smashing mm -hmm. the old the yeller of yours. <laughs> deal with the problem. <laughs> Jonah just needs to give Whitman a nice punch in the face and then move on. You're right. Lara should do it. It'd have more meaning. It'd have more meaning, got, but okay. Jonah would have more casualties. <laughs> Dude, I mean, just look at Jonah's arm. What, like, it's as big as Lara. Lara's like, killed more people, dude. You don't know about Jonah's past. Lara's <laughs> killed more people with Lara than he has. <laughs> For all you know, this guy could be the, like reincarnation of the BTK killer or something. Take this bow. I've been saving it for you ever since I found it. It's powerful. You can shoot an arrow into almost anything. Just like Thank you, Jonah. bows do. <laughs> I made this out of my back hair and sweat. Are we Jack Sparrowing this story now? Absolutely. Turn your recurve bow into a compound bow. I don't think I've seen all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I think there's one or two I've missed. Climbers, yes. Hmm. That is what I need. I'll tell you what I want when I really, really want. Napalm arrows. Hmm. String arrow damage. Do you want that or do you want fire arrows? Because wouldn't fire do more damage as well? Both. But fire <laughs> damage is me. Okay. You know what giving me a new bow means? What does that mean? Mandatory stealth section. Heck yeah. Hmm. 
Lara Croft. Honest, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> there we go. Now we got it. Lara, the endurance is beached on the other side of those cliffs. You can probably use that big bow to make your way there. Or maybe on those rocks. Crawl. Crawl. Thanks for spelling it out for me, Jonah. I definitely remember that this was the place I died a lot in. <laughs> I don't remember this section that much. So fans, <laughs> be warned. <laughs> oh. Okay, Reyes, I'm getting close to the endurance. What do you need exactly? Alice, we were getting worried. I'm gonna need a breaker bar and the rest of my kit. Oh, the, I wait, where to go? Oh, I thought it like just vanished. I didn't see you. You should wait for her. Lara. No. No, I got this. I'm heading in. I radio silent. Alex, what are you doing? I could killing them got something, but apparently. Is Alex a traitor too? Uh no. Or is he just stupid? I think he's a red shirt. Okay. If that reference means anything. It does not. Uh, in Star Trek, the original series, like any of the crew members that had red shirts when they went on a mission usually died. Ah. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> Goodbye, Bert. Vertical boom. I guess I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> oh, of course, it went all the way down there. <laughs> oh, I about jumped after it. <laughs> I know that's not what you meant to do, but good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> goodness. Uh. That was almost really bad, and I don't know if I would have been able to stop from laughing. I laugh at myself, so you're good. <laughs> was this actually used as a headrest, or was it part of a larger statuary set? I'll research it later. <clears throat> You know what would be an interesting, like, after the credits thing? What? Would be how much money, like, all this junk I find, like, mm. how much money she gets for all that. Oh. And that wasn't even your fault. That was, like, the game just being stubborn. Like, I, I can't fault you right there. So, have you played all of the Assassin's Creed games? Um, I have played them, yes. Okay. I have not beat them. Have you beaten any of them? Yes. Uh, I've beat two. That's a good one. Four. Origins. And I think that might be it. And one. Okay. I beat one. Okay. See, I've beaten one, two, 
Brotherhood. I almost beat Revelations, but I don't remember why I didn't. Um, I've beaten three, not four, not Rogue, not Unity, not Syndicate. Uh, just beat Origins. About halfway through Odyssey, and I and like did the first mission of Valhalla. So what they say? What's going on up there? I feel like Valhalla almost like took a step back from where Origins is. Who the hell is she? Like in terms of how the UI looks and everything. Yeah. It just looks a lot more like I don't know. Like it feels like I'm beta testing it. <laughs> Nice. Ah. There we go. <laughs> it's just a little fire. I love how you're just like, eh, not worth it. Well, I want it, I just don't know where it landed. That I wouldn't kill you. She might break an ankle, but... Even that, like, n probably not. Ninja roll! Oh, do you have to shoot it down again? What's this thing? Oh, we're grave robbing now. Cool. I mean, grave robber, tomb raider, same thing. Yes, I do. Only reason I go after them is because I know they have like gun parts. Yeah. I don't even know if I fully upgraded any of my stuff when I played this game. I think I just kind of like bomb rushed it to the end. I'm gonna turn my AK-47 into something that this game pretends is better than that because they don't know about guns. <laughs> You turned your AK-47 into a desert eagle. Nice. I think they're behind you, yeah. Where'd you come from? I think you had to re-kill the people that you already killed. Yeah, because you died. Well, usually when I ki like, I kill somebody. Like if I die, well, maybe. But I was up there already. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, maybe they're new dudes. They might be. I think he's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you can tell if they're still alive by the music. It changes as soon as the last one dies. Well, as I always say, there's no kill like overkill. I agree. Gotta make sure they're dead. That's why you gotta empty a few magazines into them just to make sure. There's no way that would. 
I've watched enough horror movies to know you don't ever think, assume that they're dead. <laughs> There's no way that they wouldn't have seen you. Yeah, like the black down. Yeah. Nice. Make sure to conveniently throw your bow away as you die. <laughs> Is that a two? It's a secret tome. Oh, nice. Tome. And it got darker for some reason. Tomb boom boom. Why are you doing that? I must rate it. It's my name. Oh, you got 500 XP. That's pretty good. This one seems shaped to be slightly more comfortable. But it does not look comfortable in any way, shape, or form. And as per the last one, I'm going to give it a few tries and then go away. <laughs> no, you got it. Some of them you just pick up right away and some of them it's... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, it also depends on how clear they made the puzzle. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I, I get that a lot of people are like, oh no, it's like supposed to be a challenge. And yeah, challenges are good when that's what it's meant to be. I don't like it being a challenge because the game developers didn't do what they were supposed to do and make it solvable. Yeah, it, it, it shouldn't be I have to do something that's completely unnatural to anything that I would normally right. try. It's like, oh, you have to light yourself on fire and then jump through the thing, and that's how you do it. It's like, yeah. no, nobody would do that. <laughs> Crack a book. Yeah, no, I got an achievement on uh, Assassin's Creed Origins the other day, and I wasn't even trying to get it. But it was like, kill an enemy that's poisoned with your torch in under 30 seconds. And I was, and I don't didn't even mean to do that i had like poisoned a room of people and i accidentally got my torch out instead of one of my swords and i was just swung and got the last hit on someone and i got the achievement i was like oh i would have never guessed to do that huh that's weird yeah i have i think five more achievements on persona 5 royal that's impressive and all but two of them are relatively easy ones. It's just like the special, mm -hmm. like you can go to like hangout spots and stuff yeah. and you have to just go to a couple of them specifically. Yeah. One of them is fighting the super boss. And then one of them is you have to capture a certain kind of monster and it's kind of harder to do. I gotcha. That'd be the first kind of big game I platinumed. Okay, nice. I don't really think I've platinumed many games. I definitely have not. That seems like way too much work. You usually it is, yeah. I I was just surprised. I was like, I love playing Persona. It's kind of my go to sleep game. <laughs> Uh, we just hit 30 minutes. You want to go ahead and stop here? Yes. Uh, All right. Let's upgrade our gunny gun. Okay. Got 386. Tape double mag. Reloads faster. We'll zoom in. Scope would be good. Yes. Hey now, are you trying to say that I'm inaccurate? <laughs> no, I'm trying to say that scopes are always cool. I think you need to should always like put scopes on pistols and everything. Scopes just make guns better. Yeah, they do. I, I want a sniper scope on like a pistol. Uh, 
Only reason I don't have any sort of scope or reflex sight or anything on mine is because I have a concealed carry pistol. Yeah, that so might not work as well. It's like I need it. I, I want a cool one, though. Is that your scope in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Both. <laughs> uh, and on that note, <laughs> we're yes. going to stop it for this episode. Yes. Thank you so much for watching us ramble on nonsense. And yeah. We will see you next time on Tomb Raider. Yes, we will see you all next time.